What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to bring you a Minecraft map that I created. It took quite a while to make and it's an adventure map. Which means it's like obstacle courses, some puzzles, etc. Um, now this will be a spoiler, a complete spoiler, so if you guys want to figure out how to do this map by yourselves, do not watch this. But without further ado, I will now start it. Alright. Here's my adventure map. The first sign you will notice is uh, basically one of the rules is you cannot, like, the only block that you're allowed to destroy are wool blocks, white wool blocks, and you cannot place them. See this room? Like I said, this is a spoiler, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you this switch right here. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click it. It's, it's supposed to be kind of hidden. I think it is kind of hidden, but you guys probably should go ahead and flip it. You'll, you'll see why later. Anyways, take what's inside this chest. It's redstone. You guys are going to need this at the end of the whole place. Um, wool blocks, since you can destroy them, go ahead and destroy these three wool blocks. Alright, you can come into this next room with some furnaces. The goal of this map is to find all of the di diamond armor. Yes, that is actually the goal, to find all of the di diamond armor. And if you're wondering why this looks, looks so weird, it's because it's supposed to be kind of like a destroyed house. Kind of, kind of what the setting is. Um, this room, you have a door right here. And it's obviously the switch. And it doesn't close it back. So, once you click it, it's open. Alright, you come to this next room. These are just decorations, so. Ore room. This is the ore room, the next place. And as you can see, there's a door right here that is open. And it says, how do you open this door? Maybe a switch at spawn? That's what the switch does at the beginning. Um, that was actually for decoration as well. There's a lot of decoration things in here, so. That's just supposed to be for decoration. Um... Alright, now as you'll see this hole, trust me, just jump down it, you'll be fine. Um, alright, now you'll see this. Now, most people are probably just going to go down there, but what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to... Well, squid are probably going to spawn in here, so go ahead and kill them. S swear to God, squid are so damn annoying, spawning in my water. And if you'll notice, there's another wool block in here, so go ahead and destroy it. And go down. And you'll come into this room. What the hell are you supposed to do in here? You'll see a chest right here. It has one piece of coal. You're going to take it. And you're going to put it into this minecart. And it will bring around a chest minecart. Which you will grab. And that is the first piece. That is the that is your first diamond accomplishment. One down. Four to go. I mean three to go. Alright. After that you're going to want to go ahead and head downstairs. Um... These are just for trickery, these little things. Right now we're at the bedrock, so if you fall on those, they won't explode the place. They'll just fall into the void, or whatever it's called. Do not leave this room until you find a secret. Yeah, you see this door, you can only go out it. And this next part is, I'm probably going to have to mod and like use my commands to get up, because it's really freaking hard. Um, there's an identical side just like this, except this wasn't the right side. You're supposed to go to this side. And basically what you do is you just hit the TNT, it falls down like that, down to the void. Oh, but sometimes it gets caught. If it gets caught, then I realize that it ruins the map quite a bit because, I don't know, I guess I didn't think that through too well. Um, if this happens, it's alright, just, just, it, it, it's cool. Now, in here, this is a chest right here, it has a mushroom, this is just to throw you off. Really, you're supposed to destroy this wool, and there's a chest right here, and you get your second piece of the armor. So, you're now halfway there. Or are you? Who knows? Yeah, you guys, if you guys just for giggles, let's go ahead and do that. this one. Uh, you see, sometimes it makes it, sometimes it doesn't. That, that's one of, my, one of the flaws in my maps. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize for that highly. This next part, uh... Why are there squids right there? It's kind of hard, because you're literally going way th all the way back up to the surface, except you have to use your skills. And there are about four checkpoints on the way up. I'm going to go ahead and warn you, this is extremely hard. Like, I mean, that's why, that's what I was saying earlier, is that I might have to, uh, I'll just use my commands to fly up there. But, I'll make a couple goes at it and see how far I can go. But, it gets hard. I mean, it really, really gets hard. Oh yeah, at this part, uh... There's a secret right here. Don't jump. When you're going into this platform, do not jump. Just just walk off it. Otherwise, you'll miss. Uh, 
Ooh, crap, don't want to fall. Hey, I'm not doing too bad. Guys, gotta be careful on that soul sand. Alright, here's the first checkpoint. Go ahead and unlock it. Ugh. Yeah? What? Excuse me for a second. I highly apologize for that. I'm not using Kim Stages, so I can't cut this part out, unfortunately. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and activate fly and just fly up here for you guys. Besides, this, it would take me a while to get up here anyways, so. Now, once you are fortunate to reach the top up here, go ahead and get down, then you are now here. Now, this is the last checkpoint. Anyways, uh, you're probably wondering what's with all the switches. There's this room, and there's that one door, and one of these switches opens it, but which one? Well, this is a spoiler, so... It's that one. Yeah, I actually made a huge room made out of TNT, and, like, you had to, like, dodge the TNT and stuff like that. But an animal accidentally blew it all up, so that was kind of out of the question. Goddamn animals. This room isn't too hard, honestly. Um, you just gotta pass by <coughs> all of the cactuses without dying. <coughs> And it's really not that hard, but make sure you catch this chest in here, because it's got your third pair of armor. Make sure you catch that. Oh, uh, crap. Goddamn cactuses. Gotta be, guys, gotta be careful. They'll really hurt you. Anyways, now you're in here, and wow. Fucking move, you stupid-ass cow. God, you see, don't farm animals just screw everything up. Here, let me get rid of it. Oh wait, I can't. Never mind. Alright, now you're gonna go and go to this door. Well, you have made it. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot the fourth di piece of diamond armor. Uh, it was actually on your way up, the place that I flew when I used my flying mod to get past. On the way up, there was another chest that was behind some wool that you're supposed to get, so. But yeah, right now you're just gonna put all this armor in there. Well, you have made it close to the end, but first, please place all the diamond armor in the chest. You will be looking for iron armor. You will now be looking for iron armor. If you don't have all the armor, then go back, lol. Alright, this is the next stage. Say hello to the chest room. Good luck finding the first piece of iron armor. Well, you better hurry. Hint. Make sure you check all the chests. And that hint is definitely to be noted. Now, there are, are actually a couple of random items in here. They're really just for fun, but the 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 iron your armor you're looking for is gonna be somewhere around here. Here it is, iron boots. That chest right there. Um, there's some other stupid things, and there actually is a. I think there was some coal in here. I remember I put. Some, oh yeah, here. If you find, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is, the redstone. Take that. I don't remember completely, but I think you're gonna need it. Um, this room, you basically. It's kind of hard to explain. You are now in the wool room. Break through the wool to reach the end, but remember that you can't break sandstone or anything else except for wool. Basically, this is, this is more of a time-consuming thing than it is a challenge. Basically, you're breaking all this wool so you can find your way past the sandstone. And there's walls of sandstone, and you have to break the wool so you can find the door to the wall. So you just gotta keep looking. Ah, oh, crap. 